so we have got quite a bit of history. Yeah, we have. We go way back. So um, back to my like Heartless Crew days. Um, as well as doing their bookings, we started up Red Sea That's booking it, Red agency. Sea. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Forza was on the agency um, with Nikki Slimting. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and so we had an office in Mill Mid Business Centre up in Tottenham, and used to come up with um, Wayne Chambers. Yeah. Ox. Yeah. Ox. Yeah. 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 Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah. So um, we've got our own little history. So I feel actually privileged to have you here today. Thank, Thank you, very you much. so much. Appreciate that. Um, so yeah, like um, obviously I'm, uh, I've been on my little fitness journey over the years, but now I am actually a stage where I am constantly consistent. That's, that's, the, that's the main thing, consistency. Um, but I feel like um, there's a lot of pressure on women to look a certain way and yeah. like people having surgery to look a certain way, but no one's actually talking about the pressures on men. Like, yeah. There's a lot of pressure on men, but before I go there, like you've got a a history of you was an athlete. Before. Yeah, I was an athlete. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you represented Great Britain. Yeah, and Jamaica. Yes. Yeah, Commonwealth yeah. Commonwealth Games. Commonwealth so, Games. Yes. Yeah. Can you please tell us a little bit more about? Tell us about that. What my my athletic Yeah, journeys. how you got into that? Like, was it was you at school? Yeah. So got... basically, I was always a fast runner at school, but I used to do loads of different events. So you know, when you go to school and they say, "Oh, he did high jump, he did a shot put, he did a javelin." <laughs> and a... <laughs> Was and the long jump and all that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So one day, um, we was on the field at my school, uh, Chinkford Foundation in um, Chinkford. Sorry, can I just add, um, Foresight is from East London. What I was saying earlier on, that's the, um, it's the home of Brian. Uh, East yeah, London. definitely. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so, um, yeah, at school, we used to have a field and we used to have like a long jump at the back. You know, like uh, a grass track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we always used to do sports days in there and then, one day I saw one of the older guys in the year doing the triple jump. I thought, well, let me try that. Because I didn't really know about know about it like that. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. seen it before on the TV, but I haven't really actually done it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, I see my friend going, hop, skip, jump. <laughs> I was like, let me try that. So then I was trying it. And every time I was hopping and skipping and jumping, I was going further and further. But I was still a fast runner as well. Yeah, but yeah. for the triple jump, you need more speed yeah, as to well. Build up, to it? build up, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some of them Russian guys are not that strong, but they're powerful, so they yeah. can get away with not running fast because their bones are stiff. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So with the speed, it takes you through the phases of the jump. And then I started doing that in school sports days, and I become good at that. I was, I was winning the Borough Championships, winning certain other events. And then basically I started doing competing at the Free A's Junior Championships, so you would enter for that and then like the best in the country would be there, like from Scotland, Birmingham, Wales, whatever. And then like, I used to get top three in them and then I used to get picked for England. And then I got picked for Great Britain, under 20 juniors. I went to World Juniors in 1998 um, in France. How old was you then? How old was that, 1998? I think I was about 17, 17, 18. Yeah, yeah. under 20s. And then when I went there, there was like guys from Romania that were just like... <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? So yeah, so I went there. Didn't do too good there because I was I was a late developer. And some of these guys they had legs like horses. Do yeah, you get what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. Done that. And then as the years went through, done certain internationals, represented England at senior level and stuff like that. And then I just became good at it. And then I think two thousand and one I was on Grandstand. Do you remember Grandstand? BBC yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I've done the senior championships, I come second and there on TV and I was wow. doing it at the bottom with a design in my ear and all that. I think we need to find a clip of that and post oh, it. Yeah, I've got to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, and then it just went from there. But then what happened was I was in that era that era with um like Jonathan Edwards. Remember the world record holder? Yeah. yeah. And Phillips Adaru. Yeah. So what happened is they were like the top three, two in the world. And there's like loads of good jumpers from Britain. So I had to kind of switch to Jamaica to try and get a look in because, okay. mate, what am I going to do to get to work? So, what, your pa- are your parents from, from Jamaica? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Both yeah, my parents yeah. are from Jamaica, so I get dual yeah, nationality. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but before I went to the Commonwealth of Jamaica in 2010, I basically went to Jamaica like two or three times before that to do the trials. One time I got injured, one time I didn't make it. But no one doesn't really know that then. There wasn't yeah. really social media then. You know but, I mean? So, going, like, going to Jamaica, obviously, it's a different environment. It's hot, hard. Like, how did you adapt to that? But don't forget, the warmer it is, the, the, the easier your muscles warm up. Like in England, you might have a competition next weekend and it says, yeah, it's going to be 22 degrees. 
then you wake up in the morning and it's raining and windy and all sorts. And then yeah. you're like, I like when it's warm because it helps me mentally as well. Sometimes with the triple jump, it's like a mental thing as well because you've got to run down the runway and then you've got to take off on one leg. Yeah. So if it's kind of windy and rainy, you're just that goes in it your head a bit. It's like, oh God. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but when it's sunny, the wind's that kind of still, yeah. then it gives you more mentally it prepares you better. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. But then got a lot of injuries. But I didn't injure myself actually in the triple jump. Basically, I was going to London Youth Games, I think it was in nineteen ninety six and I was getting a train to Crystal Palace, but the train stopped. So I think it's West Norwood or one of them. So we had to change for another train. So as I was running for the other train coming down the steps, I fell down. Oh, no. Landed on my ankle. And it's never been the same since. Even now, I can feel it now. Not bad. Yeah, yeah. But still there. So all my career, I was jumping with a sprained ankle and I had to get laser treatment on it, acupuncture, because it will seize up. So can you imagine running down the runway, yeah, yeah, yeah. popping off on one leg, landing on one leg and you know you've got injury in the back of your head yeah, so yeah. that's what was happening to me as well okay. so i was like well i did have to choose this event and now i've got a bad ankle so yeah. sometimes i used to um do the 100 meters and the 200 mix it up the speed or for my club which was newman essex beagles i used to do the four by four relay the four by one relay long jump so it was still good it was still good fun it was yeah. still good fun yeah and to tell you the truth i think like um i probably could have gone further if I, if I, not like, not support, but um, like, more funding. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, more funding. Yeah. In those times, it was like really hard. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, was it your injuries why that all ended? Or no. what happened? Like, what, well, what happened? I was getting older, then basically, I missed out on the Olympics for Jamaica in 2012, and I thought, I'm 30 something now. I can't believe we're doing triple jump for that long. Yeah. The, the, the amount of stress it has on your body is immense. Yeah. So, I thought, you know what, I'm going to change sports again. Let me go to bodybuilding now because I've got the base for bodybuilding from athletics. Yeah. The strength. I just need to put a bit more size yeah. and stuff like that. But I started bodybuilding like 2012. So when did you start doing music then? How did, you, how did the music but, all fit into it then? This is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically I started, I was, I was doing music. I've been doing music for years. So, do you know what I mean? Even before I was on Deja, I was, had decks in my room, but. Remember, I used to play um, this Queen Nikki Batsman Force as well. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. So the under 18s and the 21s. <laughs> I used to play the Batsman with the little four or fives. You know, <laughs> my dad used to get all my four or fives. Imagine what you do in a set today. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I used to play at that, all the under 21 raves and then play a Batsman set as well. Do you know what I mean? And then obviously the MC and everything. I used to spit lyrics in primary school as well. Like, my name is Nikki T and do all that in the playground and stuff. And then. Um, what did we do? Come on, Deja. It was Monday. I think it was the same thing. Monday, 10 to 12. Um, yeah, Monday, Monday. How 10 did to you 12. know Nikki through school? No, our mums and all that come from the same area. So they're all, they, they, everyone knows each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously, you know, sometimes the kids, because I know a lot of people. Oh, sorry. That's no, all right. That's all right. Apologies, people. Yeah, sorry, carry on. Yeah. So we used to hang around at Slim Team's um, auntie's house, uh, Walt and Jay. Gillis and everyone used to practice music there. Yeah. So you were still doing the athlete stuff yeah, and doing, doing music as well? Doing athletics, music. <laughs> <laughs> so weren't it a bit of a distraction though? Because obviously it's very it's a disciplined life, isn't it? So you yeah. got I know you would have been training every single day. Yeah. Like how did you how did you like make that work? How did that like, you know what I'm not gonna lie to you? Sometimes I would even go to a raven and go to training in the morning, stuff like that. I didn't want to miss training. Yeah. But then I might go to a river, didn't want to miss the That's rave. That's why I probably would have been, went a bit wrong. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Then I'll go and do forest runs over Whip Cross. And then sometimes I'd come from the rave, go to McDonald's in Leighton Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Sit in there and then go to the forest. Not all the time. Yeah. Not all the time. Obviously, you can't do that all the time. Yeah. You'll break down, but some of the times. But yeah. But on a, on a, on a whole, um, I trained hard anyway. Yeah, there's, there's other times I put, put my mind to it and went in and yeah yeah, yeah but you've worked with some like big artists as well though you worked with dizzy even Default. like more fire yeah, yeah more fire. <laughs> but they all grew up we was all in the same mates. area in the same area all yeah. from star later and chingford like uh, everyone used to come to my house as well practice yeah. lyrics you know what i mean some of the artists you wouldn't even know that i used to come to my house and stuff like that you get what i'm saying yeah. so yeah 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 everyone kind of grew up with everyone and just done their little mc and dj and stuff like that you know what i mean did everyone kind of like Rather swapping on their own thing with other people and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So, 
it was cool. So I mean? um, the, what is your, like, as um, an MC, what was the, your biggest achievement? Like, what was the biggest, your biggest stage that you performed on? Well, the, well basically, when we done the Power Tune, we was all over the country touring. So we was going to some big, like, venues, big stage shows. Uh, do uh, you know what I mean? Can I just say they did try and shut that tune down, though, didn't Yeah, they? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never even got to my first half of the time and I was doing the PA anyway. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because I'm in the back. <laughs> yeah? So when it was DW and fuming and all that, yeah, it's like yeah. 20 wheel ups. It's like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> Where's my verse? Where's my verse? Yeah. So that was all right. That was all right. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there's, a, there's a 20 year tour coming up as well with that as well in December. Are you involved in that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So 20 years of power. So we're going to see some things later on in the year to do with that. You know what I mean? So that should be good. So what happened with the music, your music like what career? What happened? Did well, you just please. fall out of it? or? I was just here and there, but you know, like sometimes you just think, just give it a bit of a rest. You know what I mean? I'll just do other things. I'm a man that likes to do loads of other things as mm -hmm. well. And then the people you're around, don't forget, I was around people with music and then everyone kind of branches off, like done their own thing. I've done a couple of little bits and bobs and I thought, you know what, let me just give it a little break and do other things. And I got in trouble, started getting in trouble anyway. So, do quiet work out to plan. So, how, how did that like? Did you get in with the wrong crowd? Or, no, you can say the wrong crowd, but I'm still myself. To you blame. make your choices, you, you make still make your choices. choices. When yeah, I say yeah. wrong crowd, not like someone said, Oh, come and do this. Like, it's up to me if I want to go and do yeah. something, but it wouldn't be an athletics guy if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? They probably wouldn't even know what I what but do. Do you feel like the choices that you've made, like going into so done a couple of stints in prison yeah 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 so yeah. do you feel like after you fell out of doing the um like the the sports stuff yeah like you kind of lost that discipline and you did you kind of rebel was it like oh do you know what i ain't got that there no more let me just free up and just <laughs> no because you know what i'm still quite disciplined anyway in anything i do mm. it's just a thing it's probably a thing that like i can do it right, mm. if I, if I to, that might sound a bit wrong but no, well, how else are you gonna put it yeah, do you get what i'm saying that. It's like, if I want to do something, I'll just do it. It's not the right attitude to have at yeah. the end of time there, but you just know, like, listen, things are not really going to plan right now. Yeah. Let me just... So did it affect you mentally with, like, the whole... What, the prison thing? No, the, the after you fell out with the sports thing, but, like, did you feel like... And, do you know what? A little bit, you know, because your dream is to go Olympics. And then I was thinking, the thing is, I trained really hard leading into the Olympics. My ankle was niggling as well. And I was in good shape to jump. And then I was just like, went to the trials. What did I jump? I jumped 16 something. I can't remember what I jumped. And I tried to get the qualifying, but it's just like, after that, I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to make the next Olympics. That's in what, 2016. Yeah, yeah. I was 30 something. And I just thought, you know what? I'm not going to try and chase that again. Because so, that event is so hard. It's probably one of the toughest events. Yeah. In athletics, but obviously that was I'm a mentally... dream for you as well, though. That was your yeah, dream, yeah, and your yeah, focus. Yeah, yeah. It's like, so what happened? What like your obviously everything's going to change. It's like, well, where do I di direct? What am I going to do in my life now? That's what I'm saying. So basically, it's not it's not a thing like that because obviously that's like I said. After that, I went to I went to bodyboarding. Yeah, because I thought, you know what? I'm not going to try and go for another Olympics in 2016. That's not happening. The, the, the stress you have to put your body through mm -hmm. to do that, all the training, the jumping. I just thought, you know what? Let me just switch. I was going to bodybuilding because I like bodybuilding anyway, and mm. you get the strength from athletics. And I've got a physique, I've got a good natural physique mm. that can do stuff. And but I must say, back in the days, you didn't have that physique. No, you was that was just... no, but I was athletic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, did you get you what was, I'm saying? No, you was, but yeah, you yeah. wasn't hedged like that. No, 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 no way. You'd probably run if you saw me back in the day. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? So basically, the bodybuilding, I went to prison in 2015, and then did you mind me asking out... what you went to prison for? I mean, just a couple little, like, how am I going to say this? Like, cash machines, stuff like that. Okay. Do you, know I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, stuff like that. Just trying to get that extra cash. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And really, you should have just got a job and just took the slow money. So did you, like, did you utilise that time in prison too? Because obviously you've got you can access to gyms and stuff. And yeah, then... yeah, 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 yeah. It's like when you go there, then you're, you're, you're sitting in your store, you think of loads of ideas, right down ideas, so... When I was in when I went in twenty fifteen and I came out, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do my first bodybuilding show when I come out. So I was trying to get ready I was getting ready for the show in prison, if that makes sense. Obviously the food is not the same, you've got to make do with what you've got. Yeah. But 
still eat loads of it, and plus you're resting a lot. Yeah. So don't forget when it's bang up for like six, seven, and you're not getting open for another 12, 14 hours, you're just resting, then it becomes a routine. Yeah. Yeah. So then when I come out, my dad, my dad's the one that I've done my back to my first three shows. So I came out, I've done Miami Pro, I won the over 35 for that. I've done a show called Pure Elite, where there's three categories in that. Pattery muscle, bodybuilding. I've got like three trophies in one day for that. And then I've done the British Championships natural in 2016. After that, I won that. So I was like, yo, this is my new thing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I carried on doing that. But then I've done a few shows, but the dieting is what killed me. I was dieting for ages, and then you go to a show and you look good. Then, but did you feel good? Huh? Like, do you feel good? Like obviously, as you said, you've got used to dieting. I, when I don't eat properly, I'm 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 not. But see, like when I diet, it's not I, my body's different. So when I diet, I'm still eating because I've got a fast metabolism. So basically, I'm dieting, but I'm still eating a lot of food. But it's a lot of clean food. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So basically, if you come to my house and said, "Oh Nick, let me get a biscuit," you open the cupboard and you're not seeing no biscuits. You're seeing cauliflower. I mean broccoli and. Stuff like that. That's just dead rice. To me. I'm like, that's uh, that's my problem. Yeah. That is my problem. I'm like, I Tuna, enjoy food. <laughs> open the fridge, salmon. We got to a stage where I was smelling the salmon. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, your pores and that. Yeah. And then you will train so hard, and you go to a show, and then like, you might not place. And it's like, yo, you're spending all this money again, the food, this, that. Yeah. Not really get a sponsor, but you're still doing your little work. And, uh, and so don't forget, it costs a lot of money. For body it's enemies, yeah. Don't get and into competitions. It. Yeah, that's why some people just do it once, tick it off their bucket list, and don't go back again and do it. There's an amount of money you're spending on food. There's not a lot of money in it. So what? Like, what do you think about? So obviously, to compete, you've got to have a certain image. You've got a certain image. So, so how could, does that? Like, I think like something like that. It's a it's a lot of pressure. Like you've got to look at that. Like, who decides what is like the perfect image? Like. What, so basically, it depends what category you're going for or what what you're doing. Is like when I was doing it, it was like under eighty kilos category, under ninety kilos, under hundred kilos. Then you've got the open bodybuilding class, and then you might have the women that do bikinis and stuff like that. I think it's changed a bit now, where you've got like a lot of classic physique and then men's physique. You know the mm-hmm. guys that wear the long Bermuda shorts, mm-hmm. that and then open bodybuilding. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, for me, like, doing the open bodybuilding for me is not really, I don't really match up to that because I've got long levers and that. A lot of those guys are, like, kind of, like, not short, but, like, English guys and I feel like European guys are born with big, big legs, naturally. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So, for them, they've got, like, a kind of head start. Obviously, black guys have got good upper bodies. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, like, do you feel? Do you feel like you have to have a certain look? Like now, even though you're not competing now, do you so feel the, like I have to look a certain way? Like, well, to tell you the truth, whether I'm big or small, I'm alright because I'm, I'm 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 ripped anyway, mm. and I know how to make myself. Probably, if I'm smaller, I'm probably more ripped. If that makes sense, mm. to bigger. When you're bigger, you hold a lot of bit, a lot of water. But it's it's harder as you get older. No? Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't yeah. get older. Yeah, as you get older, but obviously muscle memory, and if you're used to training, it's kind of like. Not easier, but you just maintain, don't you? Yeah. As opposed to someone that's just never trained before, and then like starting up, that's like forty-four. Obviously, it can be a bit harder, but if you stick to a consistent diet plan, yeah, yeah, training three or four times a week, you'll, you'll you you can achieve the body that you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all about discipline. Does that make sense? Yeah, but I think with personally, if I feel like discipline is like. When you feel like you're disciplining yourself, it's a bit like punishment. Like, do you enjoy it though? No, right, there's an end goal, but do you enjoy it? Like, as you said, like, you're, if you go to your house, there's no biscuits or nothing. Yeah. Like, to me, I'm like, I enjoy a little biscuit. It's like, but why like, restrict yourself? But that's like anything in life though. <laughs> no, but it's like, why would you restrict you yourself? Because you want to look a certain, it's again, it's like looking a certain way. Yeah, that's, for, that's, for show, that's, that's, that's for going on stage to look. In show show shape. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? You can still oh, to tell you the truth, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not really on a mad diet now. Nah. Yeah. I eat what what kind of what I want. Yeah, I just see like you someone, <laughs> if, when I'm a as I'm a personal trainer, I'll guide people to eat 
properly, but I know my body. Yeah. I don't overindulge. Do you get know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I'll eat something until I feel full, and then I'll eat two or three hours later, but I'll make sure I still get those kind of meals in and just play it right eye, unless yeah. I'm doing a show. I'm not trying to go eat some strict, strict diet every day. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But when I first started the dieting, I was, I was at home. I was having a breakdown, mate. Because a lot of people that diet and uh, do bodybuilding shows and that, that it affects you mentally. Do you know what I'm saying? So you'll be at home. Why is that? Because you want to twix and you're eating broccoli and salmon. Do yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Then week six. I'm eating the twix. I'm sorry. That's what I'm saying. So one time I was dieting for a show and I was in my house and I was just like, yo, I just went to the shop and went mad. <laughs> But then did you feel guilty after that, though? Yeah, I did, but deep down, I just knew it was one day. It was, it was in the back of my head, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you can actually see when you eat something, it's a bit off. off. But it was all right. <laughs> I was just sitting there, and I just thought, you know what? I need a twist. So sugar rush. <laughs> you know, I, said, yeah? I just went to the shop with the music. I thought, what's your dad doing for your show? I said, listen. <laughs> just give me the twist. Just give me the twist, yeah. <laughs> I felt a bit upset afterwards, though. But, yeah, it was all right. But a lot of people, like, some people, like, Get ready for a show in like the last week, they just sack it in. They've done all that work before. Yeah. Oh, I can't do this. You know what I'm saying? So, my last show, I had um, Mac 10. Yeah. So, you know, he's a bit of a, a he's on the gym thing as well. Yeah. Um, and we were speaking about like um, substance abuse yeah, and addictions yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and yeah. he said that he doubled in um, steroids and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. So we've all doubled, we've all doubled in that. Yeah. yeah but yeah. again, that, that industry, yeah. it's. it's there's a lot of it, like, but how is it, like, when you're doing, in the, when yeah. you're an athlete, you yeah. get tested regularly, like, is it acceptable within that industry? So or? let me tell you something, in athletics, it's a no-go, isn't it? Yeah. Because there's athletes that I know when I was younger that would come to me and say, do this and that. I didn't really know nothing when I was younger. Yeah. And... By the grace of God, I didn't follow these guys, yeah. and it was for the better. Was that friends? Huh? Was that your friends? Friend, or? Couple of your friends, people I know. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not going to say no names. No, I'm, like not, I'm not asking you. Yeah, names. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's people I know. Each of their own. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But bodybuilding, it's accepted, isn't it? Yeah. It's, so when you do bodybuilding, no one. Well, what it's allowed? Of course, it's a, of course it's, they're not going to tell you it's allowed, but of course it's allowed because you have. So a they don't event. test people. They don't test people. They do. No? When you have a natural event, they will they will test you. Yeah. When you have a normal event, come on, someone can't be looking at like Hulk and think it's all right. Like, yeah. Like, obviously, I see, I don't know. I don't I don't know anything about that, the whole circuit. Yeah. So, so this is all yeah, new yeah, to yeah. Me, yeah. Like, there's, there's natural shows and there's non-natural shows. But yeah. really, bodybuilding, you're not going to go to a bodybuilding show and think, oh, he's making work because you know what it's about. So if you're going into that game, you've got to know what you're dealing with. Yeah. You get me? But there's other guys that wouldn't dream of taking it. Everyone's different. But what about the side effects, though? Because there's a there's a lot of side effects from taking them things. Like it, obviously, it affects you, your moods yeah. and your skin. Yeah, and yeah. Like... But it depends. You can tell like people that might abuse it. If mm. that makes sense. Everybody's different. Everyone's body different. Yeah. You've got some guys talking about. I'm going to take one course, and I'm going to be wham, and then nothing doesn't really happen to them, and they're yeah. thinking, "What's going on?" So then but, they continue taking it. Yeah. Then yeah. It, it might not work for some people. Some people might not train properly. Some people think you can just take a course and then you're going to be all right. It depends yeah. how you're moving, how you're eating as well. Everything goes together. Some guys just want to swell up and don't care what their belly looks like. Yeah. They yeah. just fill up with water. Do you know what I mean? So it's all, it's all, it's all different things. Yeah. But then, I, I, when I was talking to you before, I, remember yeah. I was saying to you about, um, do you know about, so when I was doing my little research, yeah. I was like, guys have, have implants. Oh, my God. And fillers. Like, to, to, I was just like, like, obviously, I don't think you know know about fillers like that. Do oh, I don't know, know about that. <laughs> <laughs> what, ab fillers? Yeah. No, I don't yeah. know about that. Like, men are having surgery to get that, like, rip look. And I'm like, I personally, I was just like, okay, women. I know women, a lot of women are having surgery. Yeah, think, but yeah. it never, ever crossed my mind that men would be doing that as well. It didn't even cross my mind, yeah. neither. But the thing is, what kills it, I, that's mad. <laughs> don't forget, when you... When I was doing athletics, if you train consistently every, not every, like, four or five times a week, you actually burn fat as well because your body's always moving anyway. Yeah. So you, you're doing hill runs, you're doing weights, you get me, you're doing all sorts of stuff, you're doing drills, you know what I mean, you're doing plyometrics, your body's consistently moving. Yeah. Yeah? So you will naturally burn anyway and you're not going to be in 
on a calorie surplus really when you're when you're doing athletics you're going to be either maintaining or just eating what's right for you according to how you train yeah you get what i'm saying so if you look at a lot of athletes they're not on a serious diet but they look ripped don't they yeah yeah, yeah? they also got booties don't they yeah, but they're not yeah, on, yeah. they're not on a serious diet because they're consistently attacking but then the thing is once that that you finish like it's like it's, again you've got to maintain you've got to maintain that but it's easy to, <laughs> it's easier to maintain the athlete yeah back. But then that's what I'm saying. Now it is easy to go and get surgery. Like yeah, but you can tell you a lot of a lot of girls I see on the road. I can tell. <laughs> I was I like saying? I need to see I some tell, men. I can I tell a lot of girls that have surgery. Like <laughs> yeah. it's, it's fair play to them, isn't it? If they yeah. want to do that again, it is. That's what I'm saying. It is everyone's choice. But, but girls come into the gym with a booty, do ten minutes on the stairmaster, and then go home. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can tell they don't really love at the gym. Yeah, they just come in to have a little selfie. Whatever, make, isn't it look, it? make it look like it's natural. Yeah, yeah, but if they don't want to train and they, they, they do a bump, what's it? Mm. Is it BBL? Yeah. BBL? Yeah, 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 they, yeah. Everyone's got their own little thing that they're doing yeah, it. Yeah. Do you know what but I mean? that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I want to know about guys. Like, what are the guys doing? The, like, but a lot, of, a lot of guys, a lot of guys want to look good, don't they? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They want yeah. that beach body. You don't have to be hench. I wouldn't care if I'm not hench because I know yeah. I've got a good body, if that makes sense. I know, I know how to get ripped. Yeah. I know how to keep it, fit this model style. Yeah. So it doesn't bother me. I like, actually, I like playing around with it. So you, you're a PT. Your client, a lot of your clients. Do you have a lot of male clients, or is it mainly females? I've, I've, I've a few male clients, but mostly the females come to me. They're like, I want to lose my belly. Yeah, that's my bum to come out. That's my belly. You get what I'm saying? I lose my belly, <laughs> and, but then it doesn't go like that. Yeah. You have to be on a consistent. It's your full body, isn't cons- it? Yeah, it's yeah. your full yeah. body. So yeah, you have yeah. to be on a consistent eating pattern. Yeah. But a lot of them want a quick fix, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So some people start and then they just disappear. Like, oh, I'm going turkey. Yeah. Fair play to them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, fully. I'm, I'm putting in the work. I don't mind if it takes time. Like. No, no, but once you put in the work and you're consistent, you'll yeah. see results. Yeah. Do you get what I'm you saying? Do. And you when do. You start, I think once you start seeing the results, that is rewarding. That like, is, it is, yeah. it is, it is. And again, it is. It is your, it's, it's good for your mental health. Yeah, 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 it is, it is, it is, it is, definitely. And then also mixing up the training as well. Because don't forget, I'm an athlete. I'm still, even though I do bodybuilding and I do that, I like to do all different types of training. Just going to the gym and all the dancing. time. Or dancing, <laughs> dancing helps you burn. Dancing helps you get ripped. People don't understand when you're dancing, whatever dancing you're doing, yeah. and you're sweating, you're burning, and you're getting ripped. That's so, why you always yeah. see me dancing. So, well, yeah, if you didn't know, um, also is a really good dancer out here. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a shuffler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, you're dancing from young as well, yeah. as well. So, yeah. I like to do everything. Don't get bored. Yeah, it's always a bit of fun. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 No, that's good. That's yeah, good. yeah. That's really good. So um, recently, you celebrated your birthday. Yeah. Um, how did you um, celebrate that birthday? Well, my forty fifth. Yeah. Did you not? Uh, uh, am I right in believing that you got baptized? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. March the twenty ninth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I got baptized. Yeah. And yeah. how did that come about? Like, how uh, how did you get into that journey? With have you always been? Well, basically, I went to a C of E school when I was younger. What's yeah. The C of e Church of England. Oh, okay. Church okay. of England. Um, I'm confirmed, and that um, obviously when you're growing up, I was going to church when I was in primary school. Yeah, but it was it was that false church. You don't want to go to church. church no, but that's it. Because if you ask me, no. Because what happened is I was in the choir in that anyway in the hymns. What but, you can sing? Well, I, can sing the, I can sing a hymn. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And then obviously when you get older, you fall off a bit. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah. But every time I was going to prison, I was a member of the C of Christian Church, C of E Church. Anyway. You know what I'm saying? And then when I came out um, the last time, I met Stephanie and then we started going back again properly. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yo, listen. Sorry, can I just say Stephanie, Stephanie is, is my your fiance. fiance. Yeah, but obviously she's your cousin as well, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, she's my son's cousin. So, but so, yes, so, so, there's, so, there's, so, there's, so, there's always a connection. There's always a connection, yep, there's yeah. always a connection, but congratulations, yeah. guys. Thank you, thank you. So then, yeah, we started going back. But I just going back, just find yourself more... Peaceful, do you know what I mean? Getting to know God more again, yeah. Stuff like that. Reading the Bible, reading certain scriptures that apply to you, yeah. praying. Do you get what I'm saying? I was like, yo, I might have to give my life to the Lord now, because yeah. to take the truth, I think that's the best way. Even though we're not perfect, but try and live as righteous as you can. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then it helps you probably to make better decisions. So I mean, I um. 
I've had a bit of a funny experience with like the church and everything. I'm not in a church or anything, but I have my relationship with God. I'm like, yeah. and I say, I found my peace now. Like I, every day I say my prayers and yeah, my meditating. Yeah. And then like, even before I'd done the show today, I was nervous. Yeah, so yeah. I sat outside, said yeah. a little prayer. Do you know what I mean? But of course, yeah, yes. Yeah. I find that when I try and talk about God to certain people, it's like, oh, that they get scared off. So it's like, have your friends dealt with you differently now that you've gone through this? Or Do you know what? Some people, some people might say, oh, God this, God that. But at the end of the day, to tell you the truth, that's the best thing that probably could happen, happen, happen to you is by getting baptised and giving yourself to God. Yeah. Yeah. You feel like, you feel like a sense of like, is it security around you? Like, like, it makes you feel more comfortable, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So like, you think it's like finding yourself. Yeah. It's like certain situations. That I've been in since I've come out of jail, yeah, or even little situations in the house, nothing big, like no crime or nothing. Mm. Even your mum says something to you, and then before that, you probably before, react differently. Yeah, you can you, you can take it in differently and react differently. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? Like it's like a computer in red. You don't have to do that. Yeah, just yeah. Keep it smooth. Yeah. Or that's just a little example. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or when you're praying, when you're praying, it makes you feel more at ease. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're, when, you're, when you're praying to God and you're, 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 you're speaking to God properly and asking him for his strength and his power, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for him to be with you every day and thank you for waking up. Because a lot of people don't go to sleep and don't wake up yeah, in the morning. Exactly. It's, every yeah, day. Yeah, every day's a blessing. So every day's a blessing. And there's blessings every up. day, yeah. So really, why am I sad for? Yeah. Yeah, God gave me life for the next day. Yeah. So yeah. once I'm up, I'm still in the race. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no race, yeah. but I'm saying I'm still here. And do you feel like now you've made that like connection more with God? Do you feel like you've got your more you've got more of a purpose? Like you're doing your your like your PT. Like, yeah, you, that's your by always, doing what you do. You're yeah. changing people's lives. Yeah, and yes. like everyone like people like oh, okay, I've got a purpose. Like you think oh, you've got to have some big like purpose. But yeah, I feel like we all have our contributing like little. It's little Course. things. It's yeah, little things, and you. You, your environment, your surrounding people. Yeah. Because, like, think about it. It's like, for you, for instance, contacting me. I started off with you. Not started off with you. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. We was on Red Sea, yeah. which is 20-something years, years ago. Jesus. So, right, so look at that. So, I started off with you 20-something years ago. And we're back and again. come back round. Yeah. I'm sitting in front of you now. Yeah, yeah. But God probably can see your vision and yeah. can see my vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we're gonna. That's yeah. why we meet again. But again, that's what I'm saying. Mac 10, last yeah. week, he's got his little relationship. But it's, it's, it is, there's, it's like, and again, people are like, oh, don't want to talk about God. It's like, it's like no, it, it's like, whatever people all of a sudden call it, it's uni- the universe. Yeah. But you know what? It's God. That's all it is. Like, people, Some people, you, you have, sometimes you have to listen, in it? But people get people get the wrong thing. Afraid. Like God, God, like, people are afraid or think, you know, what, you know what it is? It's not even afraid. People are scared to make sacrifices. Yeah. Yeah? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. People think, oh, I want to do that or I want to do this. Don't get me wrong. We're all sinners, aren't we? Yeah. We s- try not to sin, but... No one's perfect. No one's perfect. But that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Do you get what I'm trying to say? But it still helps you to be a better person, yeah. to live more righteous, yeah. treat other people kind. Yeah? It's like today, we went to church, and then we park in this parking space, in this parking space. We've been parking there for the last year. Yeah? It's like the back of TGI's, but it's a little bay thing. But we've been parking there, no one's ever said nothing, even the traffic man said nothing. The woman comes out and says, Listen, what are you parking there for? I said, What's that? What are you parking there for? I said, No, no, we've been parking there for about a year, a year and a half. Well, you can't park here. I don't know why the church is using the car park. <laughs> the, the car is park. it hurting you that yeah. they're in that so space? Said, and then, so I said, Sorry? I said, No, we've been parking there for a year. What? You've had the church talking to me like that? All I said to her, We've been parking here for a year. I said, Do you know what, love? At the end of the day, we'll move the car if you want to move the car, but um, we've been parking there for a year, we've never seen no one. Yeah. So, no one knows, oh, what you church people parking in, you shouldn't be parking in there. But if that was back in the day, you would have reacted to I would have retaliated and slewed yeah. her. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But she wanted me to do that. Yeah. Do you get yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, Steph, she wanted me to do that. So, do you know what? It's Sunday, I'm going to church. Enjoy your day, but we're going to move the car for you. Yeah. Because she goes, oh, well, I'm going to call security and tell them that your car's here. I was like, you know what, we can call them, but we're going to move our car anyway. Um, and anyway, enjoy your day. Have a nice day. Yeah, yeah. All she could say to me, and you too. Yeah. But she started off with some aggressive things. Yeah. But she then got... people don't know how to deal with that when how you deal with them in kindness. Yeah. It's like, oh, like. 
But then when she said to me, "Yo, you go to church," and uh, yeah. Yeah, I could have said, "You know what? Whatever, whatever, whatever." But I thought, you know what? I'm not scooping down to your level. Yeah. 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 We'll park somewhere else. There's a big car park here. Yeah. yeah. If it if it means so much to you. I'll move. We'll move it's not a problem. And you can have it. And then when we came back, the space was still there. <laughs> and I was there. But sweet. <laughs> yeah. So you said about making sacrifices. What is what sacrifices have you made in well, your life? Well, sacrifices like such as like, like I didn't really smoke weed a lot, but it's like certain things like that weed. Hanging out late night hours out of Bridget's house. Like probably drinking, smoking. Do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like those kind of things don't need to be done. You go in, going to less places. What what is not benefiting me? Yeah, not in line in with uh, you are not, now. Not yeah. in line. Don't get yeah. me wrong. You'll see me somewhere. I'll yeah, spit yeah, yeah. or whatever. But certain places, they don't really need to be there. It's not really doing nothing for my life. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So that kind of helps you as well on the everyday life schedule. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, just. Like, as you go through, you started to notice little different things or change different things. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it's a journey, isn't it? Yeah. So it takes time. It's not yeah. going to be perfect over one night. You're not going to be perfect. Yeah? You're Do you know what I mean? But you're just trying to live more. Yeah, yeah. Even if the Bible was called, this is how you meant to live your life. Yeah. Like, even if it wasn't called the Bible, it's still teaching you certain things. Yeah. How to act on an everyday basis. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That it will say to you, don't repay evil with evil sometimes you want to kick mm. someone's head in <laughs> do you know what I mean you might think about a, a, a verse but when you when you haven't done nothing you feel better yeah I suppose if you do do something yeah. even though you've done something to that person, it makes you feel you feel even more angry angry it makes you, yeah. do you get what I'm yeah, saying yeah, it's just yeah. little things isn't it yeah do you know what I mean yeah it teaches you and then it's just like and then you, you, you show your kids like you bring your kids to church you make them pray you make them Talk, speak, you speak about God to them and stuff like that. Yeah. Take them to Sunday school, yeah. stuff like that. They like it, yeah. so get it embedded in them from early. If they choose that they don't want to do that yeah. when they're 18, that's then that's it. cool, but we show them the way. That's all right. Yeah. Um, them not coming in a little bit, so yeah. yeah. Um, but if, again, it's like, as I said, I my relationship with the church, it was um, a really kind of negative experience but I, I found myself falling away from God. And Why was I that? Got, Sorry. Because I was going to, I went to a few different churches and I always felt judged and I didn't feel comfortable and my thing is like I'm going to church, I'm going to celebrate God, like I want to feel uplifted and I never, I always come away not feeling right and um and that, as you, you were saying about the kids, my kids hated it, like they didn't enjoy it. So, what, what was the, what? Sorry, what was the reason why you, they hated it? Because I don't know. I feel like they, again they felt forced into it, but it was so regimented. It wasn't fun. It wasn't. It wasn't a positive experience for them because it's like it was strict. Yeah. So it, I feel like they kind of felt like it was forced upon them. And yeah. now that's what I'm saying. Like now, my kids pray, but like they don't. They don't. They, I don't sit down and read the Bible. But I, I read the Bible. And whatever, yeah. But yeah. They. Don't like I don't sit down, but they will pray. They'll say their prayers yeah. and they're like yeah. they're grateful. But it's like it's more natural, more yeah. authentic that like they're finding their own relationship with God, not yeah. from a false perspective from religion. So basically, when you go to church, what what? So when you go to church, what the the disciples or the the, the people pastor, the congregations? It was a congregation, yeah. and it was like. So, okay, yeah, um, thank you, God. I've made it through another day because I ain't got a pain or whatever. But it's like, it's so for me, it's like so much more. Like, my life has changed so dramatically. Mm. Like, my, um, as I said, I've found peace. Mm. Like, and mm. it's like, I feel happy. I feel like I can't explain it, but I am like, even this, me sitting here today, yeah. this is part of my purpose. Yeah. Like, I'm using my voice now to open people's minds again to have conversations yeah. and like this is my purpose but it's again it's it's not from a false it's not because I can feel your energy yeah does that make sense yeah yeah because I have the Holy Spirit within me yeah but the thing is what kills it <laughs> you're sweet, you've been a nice person from day one do you get what I'm trying to say I've never had a problem with you if anyone yeah, said yeah. did you know Louise I'll say yeah I know Louise she's been she's always treating me with respect from when yeah, we were yeah. 20 something years ago yeah. That's why God's bringing me back to you now because yeah, he knows yeah. that you're genuine. Yeah. 
Yeah. Don't forget, it's a heart behind the person. Yeah. And the energy. That's yeah. what you said. It's, it's energy. energy in the heart. Mm -hmm. There's certain men out here that are watching this probably now. Their energy is dead. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get what? But you know what? We're not going to judge No, that. we're not going to judge that, but I'm just saying, isn't it? Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 And but I know that. you're genuine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel your energy. It's not false. It's not yeah. fake. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But that, that was, that's what I'm saying. That was, so that, that, that's what I'm saying. The whole religion thing, that pushed me away from God. Like, it got to the point when I was like, people, I was that person. I don't want to hear about God, like, because it was such, it, it was, it was really bad. Like, it really had a negative effect on me. The thing is, sorry to interrupt. But obviously, the thing I is, came yeah, back round, yeah, and I found, and now, look at me now, I'm like, yeah, I'll shout about God all day long, I don't care. Yeah, me as well, <laughs> I will, but you know what it is, sometimes you've got to find the right person to speak to you about yeah. God as well. I don't care, if, yeah. you, don't, if you don't want to hear it, this yeah, is, yeah, like, yeah, this you is know my what I mean? life. Like, I, like, I would love everyone to be like, yeah, find God, but yeah. I know it's not everybody's time. Not it's time. like you might listen this lifetime it might not find you but mm. I'm like I'm I'm showing you what I am experiencing Jesus is coming back though life. he's coming back mate I'm telling you yep, he's coming days, but people not ready for that <laughs> 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 yeah surely be yeah, surely be exactly. yeah but it's got a little bit deep now mm. um, yeah. we have got Shawnee B in the building what are you saying what's your relationship with God saying <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to put you on the spot now Come in, come in, come no, in, yeah, bring yeah, your chair yeah. in. Pick up Shawnee B. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sit, sit on there, sit on that side, yeah. Uh -huh. Put a chair, put a chair. I am aware of the time as well, but yeah. Sorry, everyone that's been messaging, I am... Oh, Josiah. Oh, my son's listening in. Hi, Pick up Josiah. Um, everyone that's logged in, I'm so sorry. I'm really, like... I'm not got round to the whole juggling of messages and everything, but yeah, give me a couple of months and I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everyone that's locked in right now. I hope you are enjoying the show so far. Um, but yeah, sorry, what are you saying, Sean? I'm all good, man. All good recovering from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all are. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. 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 What are you saying? What is your? I'm cool. I am putting you on the spot. I'm, I'm sorry, but. Um, Do you have a relationship with God? I mean, I was, my mum goes to church and stuff. That's where I've grown up in a Christian home. But I me mean, personally, I haven't found myself to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I believe in God. Yeah, yeah. God in my heart. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I was saying. Like, um, so Nikki is like, in the church and whatever. But I was saying that like, I've had a bad experience with church. So it, it actually pushed me away. But I've come back naturally to like finding him. In my, and I said, it's, God is in us. That is it. Like, it's yeah, like, we, he is, like, that is it in 100%. our heart. That is it. That's the basics of it. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah. Big up, Stephanie. <laughs> but even with Steph, when she's talking to me, sometimes I wasn't agreeing with her, if I'm yeah. totally honest. Yeah. If I'm being real. Yeah. I've had to have, I've had to talk to loads of different people. Mm. And then I spoke to, I've got guys at my work that are Christian and I've got Christian friends. And then a the guy would say to me, listen, don't worry, you're not perfect, mm. just do what you can and just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So he goes, even if you smoke weed, you might relapse, come back and smoke it, but soon the Holy Spirit will get to take it out of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah but don't, don't be too hard on yourself, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? Because it's not an overnight fix. Yeah. It's a work in progress. Yeah. And as you said, it is to take the right person because there will be someone that will approach you and you'll be like, Whatever, like you'll fob them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't, and it is. It's like show it by example. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Showing yeah, people, yeah. you don't have to talk about it. Yeah. I can show you. Yeah, but the thing is, you have to be. You have to uh, open up your heart. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget. Nowadays, we don't really listen to no one, do yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. When people tell you something, you're like, oh, I don't want to hear with that. Yeah. But so the first thing here is trying to open up your heart to take it in. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. When the man's heart is born wicked, isn't yeah. it? If that makes sense. Yeah. So once you start I don't letting, think so, though. I think no, but that's what cool. it says in, in, in the Bible, <laughs> isn't it? Don't forget, we've got like if you think about it, if we're not really opening up, we're on that mm. not wicked like that, mm. but we we as guys we're prideful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We don't really want to listen. Yeah. Because don't yeah. forget, if you tell someone like, like you know what, well, that's not really my thing, you know, bro. But yeah. thanks for talking to me. But I'm not taking time out to listen what's going mm. on. But that's what I challenge myself to do. Listen, obviously I know that because I'm brought up with Christian, my grandma, and I used to go to church when I was younger, but yeah. you know, again, to get that rebirth. Yeah. yeah. I think just in general, and this is what I'm saying, this is what like, the whole purpose of this show yeah. is to, 
open up people's minds. We're having yeah. conversations like people, as you said, people don't like to listen. People don't even like to talk. Yeah. So it's like, again, it's like bringing that back. Like, mm. where, where did we lose conversation? Where did this go wrong? Like, why? why, why? Social like, media, again, phones. It is, it is oh, social media as well. But it's like, okay, we can sit here and have a conversation. Like, I might say, okay, well, I'm not really in yeah. the church, but yeah. we've got a, a moral, like, we've got a... Um, we both agree on the same thing, but it doesn't yeah. matter. You're not right. I'm not right. Yeah, yeah. But we can again. You can teach me something. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. from having a conversation. Yeah, I mean, we've definitely. got to sit here and have an argument because no, you're wrong. Yeah, but, but that's it. It's yeah. just listen, listen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am. Um, I think like we are getting. No pulse. No pulse. No breathing. No breathing. No heartbeat. No heartbeat. No. no. One. Yes. We got Shawnee B. Hold tight, who is Louise Pierre? Hold tight, my fiance Stephanie. Hold tight, the crew locked in, locked on. We got the more fire crew. Hold tight, my brother Switch. Hold tight, Brownie. Yo. Hold tight, Logan Lightfeet. It was a great show. Thank you for having me, Deja Vu. Charlotte, absolutely wicked. Sounds of the Shawnee be on the ones and twos, yo. Old time the crew locked in, locked on. We got deluxe. Cheese. Sounds of the Shawnee B. I'll talk my mum. I'll talk my sister Tam. I'll type Sparkle. I'll type Chin. I'll type Power. Great show, absolutely loved it. Wicked. Uh, sounds of the Deja Vu 923. This is where I started and I'm back. Okay. Home territory. Ah. Oh. 
Quick, swift, like a ninja. Fast, I don't like a cheetah. Quick, and we're like a bulldozer. It's a magic, I'm a sunboy killer. Give him two decks and end the mixer. Mash up the face, mash up the air, right? It doesn't matter what arena. Where we play, we get barely snar. Black, white, and Somalia. I'll take the crew from India. Check out the base, check out the flavor. This one's cold, dark, and deeper. This one's just a body creeper. When I'm on the mic, I'm a predator. It's show Navy and Futsa. When I'm on the mic, I'm a predator. Quick, swift, like a ninja. Fast, I don't like a cheetah. Quick, and we like a bulldozer. This one, my DJ, some boy killer. Give him protection and the mixer. Mash up the face, mash up the air. That it doesn't matter what arena. Shawnee B. Oh my god. Selector. Absolutely wicked. This is the mix. Shawnee B. Selector. Flows, nobody knows, get the rhythm crew on their toes, my combos in the discos, rip up the rays and the radio shows, head is on everyone's stereos, socks, cats in the ones and casinos, if you full sauce, strong tornadoes, make the rhythm crew then give their bows. Hey, Shorty B. Zebra, push up your hand if you're a rasta. One them like the Arab toddler. Give me the ganja, ting a ling a ling like the ninja. Work a work a like the shaba. Show me me selector. R I D E R. Also a lyrics writer. Sometimes I mix the raga. Show me me and footsa. Talking grease, chatting shit about peace. I will lick your man with ease. Make some rude boys freeze. Alright, mate, what's happening, geese? Pick up my red gin, cool squeeze. The rich high fiber like a disease. Execution style, get on your knees. Think you're a bad man, oh please. I will make everything get seized. Kick off your door, pop me the trees, run out your mouth and Yo, leave pink on your t-shirt. Me and Shawnee just smashed up for works. Them man, they are jerks, you know what, bro? The truth really hurts. Talking grease. Selector. Sound to the Shawnee B. It's a deja vu. All time the crew locked in, locked on. Yo. Uh. Selector. Whips. Shawnee B. Shawnee B. Okay. R-C-E-R, M-I-C controller, what do they call me the demolisher? When I come in the waste danger, MTG better do a runner, MC full send the rich cruiser, go in the rave, I pop the raver, give them a taste a bit of flavor, this one's hot just like pepper, this one's rough like a rough rider, give me the girl well like the pressure, give me the girl well like your order, no retreat, no surrender, listen to the bomb selector, it's shown in me and full star, anyway, I told you ready man I'll play, spray it's like MC right away, chatting put back is what AK arms out, guns and the boy runs away 2024, niggas don't play Streets all might, niggas full side will spray Time so, call you fade, don't care about your crew Burn them any day Shawnee me, Mix me Shawnee me, Mix me Shawnee me, Mix me Oh my god, Selector Hey, hey, Yo Eh 
Hey, Deja Lyrics. People to pass in true. Some MCs ain't got a clue. What them I talk about, what them I do. Then boy there, I forget slew. With a mic and a mat inside the venue. I'm so the summer can send them to the loo. You can't test me because I come from the who. Picking up the Deja crew. I should be rigid and you know which I you. Why try to get some kung fu? Rock up his back and make him see blue. If you don't know, full so I do not do. All you would get is a great big boo. Come in the dance with my new product shoe. Backed up by my new MV suit. Got them my arms and my arms and my who are you? F. F O F O R F O R C F O R C E F O R C E R S O S A F F O F O R F O R C F O R C E F O R C E R S O S A Selector Jeez Surely me Come with them ones here, surely. All right, them ones. Uh. Okay. Let me get this one then. Shuni. Aye, aye, aye. I try to put incredible and stop more phenomenal I'm back again and I'm even more lyrical Spitting on rhythms, it gets critical, crucial Also acceptable, Nicky falls so I am the marshal My lyrics will fit like the Bible I thought all the ladies looking wonderful Sexy, teacher, beautiful Shake your ass like mystical Grab your tears like Biggie Small On the mic I'm gonna stand tall I'm not gonna fall in this dance hall Nicky falls so are general Going on like federal express To all to wait for South East West Let's get high like a smoking set Love what I go, the dance gets Raving through, I forget in press When I come back, the crowd say yes I'm going on angry like Loch Ness Come on the red shot and in your chest Can you feel the P.A. Double S Then it's get down, you say it's E.J.S. Cause this is gonna put you to the end of tried and again, sent and sign in I want the devil, I want the them, them, them Shawnee, forget 10 out of 10 We up it, we up it, them, them, them And you try to get sent and sign in I want the devil, I want them, them, them Shawnee, forget 10 out of 10 We up it, we up it, them, them, them Bricks Selector I'll show you mine I don't give a damn about your gun man Ram, I've got eight and big scenes all the time Think you're a rude boy, blood take time You ain't done no crime, done no time Big three bars that shake up your spine I know you're a snitch and you think that's fine You can't test me, get some grime You're a waste man, always holding the line You spot rare blurts and you think that's fine On the end you get cheap all the time Every time you spit it's all at time Like you're nine, you're a doll not You're never gonna shine, you better catch up Cause your bars are behind Alright then, you want war guy, you know what are you sure, guy? These MCs forget boot out the door, guy. Cause they're spitting so good, guy. Poor guy. I swear to you, that was poor guy. Man, a man forget kick to the floor, guy. Test me, break the law, guy. Nicky Fulton going on, so raw, guy. Hey! Jeez! Hey! Shawnee B. Selector. A double S licking out your goddamn chest. Put the MC to the test. Come here, you little pest. Certain MCs think they are the best. You better put on your lyrical vest. When I come, it's time to impress. May you have MCs get the press when they hear my lyrics request. Then they start taking interest. I couldn't really care less. I'll make MC speechless, restless, nervous. MC fools are dangerous. When I hold the mic, it's serious. They call me the genius. Come in the rave and make it alive. MC fools are with a batsman vibe. When I chat, you know it's live. Make him seize, duck and die. When I chat, I'm in care five. Smash up the place every time I arrive. Make your buzz like a beehive. But the rest of my shot like a stampede knife. 
We're gonna get you hyper. It's Shuni and Fusa. We're gonna get you hyper. We're gonna get you hyper. You're locked into Deja. Jeez. Selector. Sounds of the Shuni B. It's nothing. I live my life. I choose the way I ride or die. Like time, since smoke in the sky, you wanna be a bad boy, why? Protect myself, I try, move to the tall like sky. What's wrong with this guy? You be looking too hard, I can see red in your eye. House on the car, will do me fine. Ever that rat, serious rhyme. Too much feds, I better take time. Undercover officers, shocking to grind. He's already got caught with a nine. Walking around like everything's fine. Never got shit, but dumb bear coming like a swag MC's getting rid of us all the time. Then, selector. Shorty B. Old Chuck Louise. Excellent convo. I enjoyed every moment of it. Be the studio crew. Old Chuck my fiance. Be up your chest. Wow. You know how we do. Sound to the Shorty B. Yo Shooty B We don't need to go inside Cheese Bartano Yo I was scared of Scene. Since I'm worried, I'm working the scene. Then where with the contracts on my team. Where does I kill the boss cap to your team? Right now I'm on the back of the scene. Since I'm worried, I'm working the scene. Then man with the contracts on my team. Then man with the contracts on my team. Kill up, real, real. Yeah, you know the deal, deal. Don't care how you feel, I will be cocking back my steel. Straight bullets, bullets, run, run, fire, fire, bun, bun. Don't like killer, killer, nip. It's nothing to make a big song, make a big hook to the crowd sing along. Clear vocals, bass are strong, not too many sounds and it all sounds wrong. What is he spitting about on that song? False information, blood that's long. Don't trust them guys when the beef is on. The guys you came with, them guys will be gone. Who is he? I wanna make one. You make a beat during the light, where's he from? Explode the scene like a bomb. You man have it a full search, brand new song. Man a bad man, it's nothing long. I'm still here and I'm still going strong. Man chat with about force is on. Your flow is off and mine is on. Turn the beat up a little bit. I could be a big one, far from a little Okay. I'm well spoken, I'm far from illiterate I'm not an idiot, so I'm saying it's alright now, man, I'm killing it Y'all got them old man feeling it Ask for a cigarette, it's air fan, bill a spliff Fridge and a bar with a wicked this thing, you know me Cause bars are ridiculous A lot of them feel like it's so tasty I don't care, sir, it's so gravy I ain't haunted and I don't say much So a lot of them feel like it's so shady Overstand that I'm here to stay like a permanent marker But you won't erase me, you won't erase me No way, you know that I do this thing on a daily You might think that the kid's so lazy Sure a lot of things don't face me rainy Hey. Soon. I can't even remember my words for this one. Next one's entitled Jump Up. How'd it go? You can't relax, I'm back on the track It's killer for riddle, who states the facts? I'm ready for battle, yeah, ready for war I'll kick your door and bust a 4-4 Right now I got a team, they can't ignore More fire crew, what crew, far more We come through and you itch your jaws You ain't an angus to the room no more Got it twisted, I'm not a waste guy I'ma put my nine to the side of your face guy And squeeze, I ain't got time to waste guy Try thing, I'ma deal with your case, right? Waste man, I'm... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Learn rumors, alright, say Step back, it's the maniac Get out the way, let me rip up the track And this shot wet, they get attacked With the mic, come in the record For man, run up your mouth, you get a big With a, with a, with a wag, you're talking crap Shawnee be standing so fat Don't move a try, make me for no cap Smoking the weed and not the crack Bigging up the manor, on the map Where we come from, let's get cast out to Jack For talking whack, whack, girls get been sacked. When I'm on the road, I'm always packed If I see a bling bling, it might get whack Me and me, so got your back Who's trying to say that I ain't got tech? Pause. Wait one sec. 
High race with when I jump on set. Whoa, no one ain't chatting back, cats and dogs in the same manner, old school whip. You already know that I don't pick. I just wanna make money and flexing. Sex girls, you brothers can't get. Whoa, what do you expect? Disrespect, no, I don't accept. I'm in a care for gangster, but I'll please bank when you wear an innocent, no check. Hey, it's only inside the mix. Yo, Deja, yo. What's this refix do? Yeah. Outside Uzzy. Big up Swish, outside Bills. Just spin you a card and stop the noise. Who's trying to say that I ain't got tech? Cause pause, what? Wait one sec. High grade flip when I jump on set. Whoa, no one ain't chatting back. Cats and dogs on the same man, an old school veteran. You already know that I don't pet and I just want to make money and flexing. Set skills you could've got. What do you expect? Disrespect, no, I don't accept. I'm in a care for gangster, a Barclays bank, rude boy, man, I take no check. When you men are making threats, I ain't out here breaking sweat. Sure, I got guns that'll break your neck. What? You already know, Martin. Talking grease, chatting what's about peace. I'm a lit down man with ease. Make some rude boys freeze. Alright, mate, what's happening, please? Big up my red gin, cool squeeze. There is high fiber like her disease. Execution star, get on your knees. Think you're a bad man, oh please. I will make everything get seized. Kick off your door, pass me the trees. Run out your mouth and box out your teeth. Yo, leave blood on your teeth, shirt. Me and me just mashed up for works. Then man, there, you know what, bro? The truth really hurts. F, F O, F O R, F O R C, F O R C E, F O R C E R S, water, F. F O F O R F O R C F O R C E F O R C E R S Forza Okay, we got the 1990s hosted by Splendid next Friday at the Parley South Woodford, yeah? So that's 1990s hosted by Splendid next Friday at Parley South Woodford. Make sure you're there. It's going to be serious. We have Nico inside. Always shedding for years. Fire crew, no Aussie B. We got the crew locked in, locked on. Hey. Right now you're in tune to the connected all. Vibes up and run. Okay, look, wait, wait, I heard a rumor. Man said he never liked Nick when he came back. The car when he came back, he was laid back. Do you know what I did? I ghosted him, put the pen to the pad and came back. Hit the studio booth and made tracks. After that, I was gone, made tracks. Hit the roadside to make cash. Yeah, I can see a lot of man are doing their thing now. You men are hard, but you ain't cast. See me, I've been a dad since way back. You can play like your bad boy, ain't that? No, I ain't that dog, you face facts. Face up to it or get your face slapped. I brother can't F with a wave. I'm so cool with it, like pass with a rave. Yes, yes. I was a youth, I was a hustler. I wanted dreads just like Buster. You to deliver the local paper. Go to church and say a quick prayer. Move your magic to the free raver. Go to college, smoke some weed. Throw some weed at them times there. Man had the old behavior. Old school, new school writer. Trust me, the flow is tighter. Give me the pen and paper. I'll show you who's the striker. I thought you were the shooter. Run my down on my scooter. Hey, Shawnee, selector. Uh, what's that, brother? Now that the but I turn now. Yo. 
you already need to remind them what I'm in a league of my own no microphone Them brothers gone for the mic you know Big boy bars y'all write them on a A4 paper with my pen yo And none of them are on my lips Come on already know that I'm militant Anybody say different man I fight them You already need to remind them little pagans That we ain't got time for them little waste man Chatting shit on a regular basis Hey yo we pay no mind Cause them brothers can't take my shine And them man can't recite my lines Come on a blaze fire on mic My boys a blaze fire on sight You get me? I'm buzzing like a bumblebee Come and catch me from my Kawasaki Moving fast like Bruce Lee Game of death and fist of fury I'm a ridey I'm a rider I'm driving on my ninja Behind me there's a black car But I better boy them a watcher Get out my Driver Hit the first corner Oh yes the first murder With the murder hey, Yo 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 Let's get this one again please <laughs> Man got the green light, it's very no advisory, it's missing content, you're allowed, you're allowed bro. Yo! Jeez! Okay! I'm buzzing like a bumblebee Come and catch me from my Kawasaki Moving fast like Bruce Lee Game of death and fist of fury I'm a ridey, I'm a rider I'm driving on my ninja Behind me is a vector But I better, better boy them a watcher Get out my shooter Shoot up the driver Pick the first corner Oh yes that was a murder With a murder, you never heard of Sounds of the MC full star Listen Nico, cause you're in the area no boy, them a rock borer. I smell the rock nine millimeter. We don't wanna pet, we don't wanna powder. We don't taste how nobody gonna burn ya. No for them boy, rock borer. I smell the rock nine millimeter. We don't pet, we don't pet, we don't powder. We don't taste how nobody gonna burn ya. Light down, draw for the gun. Compaction, put it so I run. Fire get burn. Humble, but I never been a shoot one. If I get mad, everything done. Draw for the gun. Compaction, put it so I run. Fire burn. Humble, but I never been a shoot one. Yo, fools up. Them fools took the back. They got gun. Which gun? What one? No gun, you're dumb and a plum, or sort of bum You touch the gun, it's not even your one These fake MCs, she'll get fun Give the man talk, and then you run I thought you had a gun, you ain't seen one You won't get to the zone like some fun Shut the floor like a piece of crumb These MCs deserve to get hung When the bus is lyric, the man will get sprung It's a serious thing, and you think it's fun All these MCs chatting for scum First of all, you can... Give up my talk and then you get bun Soon you be sure to leave your drum, your plum We came through when you weren't sure You weren't the nangas in the room no more You weren't the baddest in the room no more Didn't wanna sing that tune no more Furthermore you made a detour Hey, cause you're a mug, you hit the back door None of your brothers wanted to back that war Back mine, I don't just chat back war like nah It's not about acting brave Acting brave will get you blamed Watch what you say on airways Man, to come through and deal with the case like no Not about acting rough cause acting rough will get you snuffed You better second with the bad boy stuff Cause the bad boy is waiting to call your bluff Spit on the back of Sam Ming Shine like bling Murdered him You wanna alright this swing Uppercut straight to the chin War to the limb The rich I spit Make your head spin Tump up a boy like Steve Austin Box up a boy like Vibes Instinct It's Nicky Fulsa and I'm not ramping F-O-F-O-R F-O-R-C F-O-R-C-E F-O-R-C-E-R is Fulsa F F-O-F-O-R F-O-R-C F-O-R-C-E F-O-R-C-E-R is Check the new one, let's school them Come to your class with your pen and your pad I'm teaching, don't get me upset I'm strict and I don't pet or ramp that Check the new one, let's school them Come to your class with your pen and your pad I'm teaching, don't get me upset I'm strict and I don't pet or ramp Style, every last word don't rang It's free, I'll say what I want cause I can Anybody got a problem with my shit? I don't mind, we can settle this outside We get the outcome, won't be good Bring beef, I leave your face on the floor You don't wanna battle with a killer from the east Letting up till I'm the last one here like yeah See that I got a mad flow Man, cause you don't know what I might say next I'm at the point where I really don't care Certain man are trying to bite my lyrics I don't wanna switch so fix up fast Or I'll put the nine to your head and squeeze Pull the tips go straight to your dome Game none, that's another sound boy dead like style Man I gotta make this rhyme It's real, say what I want anytime Anybody got a problem with my shit? I don't mind, we can settle this in a bit won't be good, bring beef, I leave a boy in the woods You don't wanna battle with a kid from the east Letting off, I'm lost and not leasing You can see that I've got a mad flow Man, cause you don't know what I might say, yo I'm at the point where I really don't care Cause certain man are trying to eat my share I don't wanna switch, so fix up fast Or I'll put the line to your head and blast All the tips go straight to your dome Game none, that's a sound boy, tombstone The mic is my weapon, 
Right version, give shot back shot, rip up session One don't dance like Cable Tan MC full sun, the lyrics stand champion Spin the rhythms for fun, hot like the sun Haters get bun, six minute ways to die Choose one, I'm holding the mic and I'm not having none I'm back again with my lyrical tongue Give the ravers satisfaction MC full sit in pole position On a mission, what's my ambition? To make the rave include them listen Lyrics, vibe and precision MC full sun, my meditation Come in the rave and cause explosion Hey! Tune Yo! P.E.R. It's getting deeper This one out to all the raver Shuni Nico Fusa D. W. E. P. E. R. It's getting deeper This one out to all the raver Nico Shuni Fusa D. W. E. P. E. R. It's getting deeper Too many man are informer Too many man the boy them lover D. W. E. P. E. R. It's getting deeper This one out to all the raver Shuni Nico Fusa And you try to get a sentence and aim Oh what do them, oh what do them, them, them Show me, forget 10 out of 10 We have to tell, we have to tell them, them And you try to make a sentence and end I want to them, I want to them, them, them Show me, forget 10 out of 10 We have to tell, we have to tell them, them I quickly though I add to Mr. Kelly King Hold tight, BB Hey, I want the crew to listen out for a tune called Dion Wayne is coming out very soon. We shot the video for it yesterday. It was an absolute mazza. We got the OCF bikers. Old K Rico. Large up Frost, easy knowledge. And what you got next to them, Shorty? 